obviously this is subjective just because Adam probably walks different than most of you. He walks in a different environment than most of you. So this video is not really to show you how your comm projects will look like, but how um, they could potentially look like over time. Live in a war zone. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of common project. <laughs> There's a lot of common projects videos out there in which people buy common projects and they unpack them for you. What is it called? What is it called when you pick something up and then you open the box and then the things in the box and they show you what's inside mm. the box and no, they, I think I was wrong. they open it on camera. What is that thing called? Something something to do with boxes. Like there's there's videos on YouTube about common projects to do with boxes and this video is different from those because we're not going to show any boxes in this video. No boxes. Zero boxes. Each of the common projects videos that we currently find on YouTube, they're all pretty much just unboxings and that is just showing you how the shoes look like in the beginning of a purchase. Right, so it's showing them brand new, brand spanking you. Oh yeah, baby, give it to me. Although that is good to kind of get a first kind of, you know, look or first appearance of the shoe, it doesn't really tell you whether or not they're really worth it. Common projects in general are a big investment for people to make. I feel like the majority of people who buy common projects uh, don't buy them without putting a dent in their wallet. So I feel like the, uh, the way to measure whether or not a piece is worth it like these is to see how they hold up over time. This applies especially to shoes because shoes take the biggest beating up all your clothes. You're not dragging jackets on the floor all day. You're not dragging your pants on the floor. You're not walking for eight hours with your pants hitting the ground unless you're wearing some crazy pants on pants. the ground pants on the ground look <laughs> like a fool with your pants on the ground what i'm trying to say is that shoes take the biggest beating out of everything you have in your closet so they out of all pieces really have to be kind of you know put up under under the microscope and figured out do these hold up? Do these hold against the elements? So today we're going to be determining if common projects are really worth it. I purchased the white Achilles Lowe's around six months ago, and I pretty much just treated them as beaters. I've had friends tell me that they look good beat up, and I've seen people wear them beat up, and I think they do look good. So I didn't treat them any differently than you would treat a pair of Vans. Slap them on. And walk. I wore them in rain. I'd wear them through mud. I'd walk through mud. I'd walk through dirt. I would not even untie the shoelaces when I put them on. <gasps> Let's grab the shoes! <laughs> Here they are. So, right off the bat, what do you notice? You see creases, mainly around where your toes, where your toe knuckles are. So wherever your foot is moving, they're gonna crease the leather. And the interesting thing I noticed about creasing is that the creasing on these shoes is actually different. And I think that has to do with the fact that my right foot is slightly bigger than my left foot. So you can notice that in the actual patterns of the creasing, that my left one has a lot less creasing in general. Also, a lot of creasing appears on the back. If you don't untie your shoes before you put them on, then obviously crease marks will occur. Be wary of that. The outside leather also features a few scuffs that Adam made on it. As you're walking, you're hitting the sides of your shoes against, you know, like rocks, steps, or stairs that will scuff it. When you're walking with these, you have to be careful. Just because they are white, anything that does happen to them stands out a lot because they are white. And the last thing that has to do with the outside of this shoe are the laces. White laces always, always, always get dirty. It's very easy to clean them actually. You just put them into like a bowl of like bleach and water. It makes them, you know, super, super white. So there's actually one more thing that has to do with the outside of the shoe and that's the stitching of the sole. It's actually coming loose in some places. <sighs> That's that new, sh new shoe smell. <laughs> Let's move on to the inside of the shoe. So first off the bat, you notice right away, the insole has started to come out. There's certain shoes where the insoles are supposed to come out, but these ones are not intended to have swappable insoles, and it's starting to look like they're intended to. <laughs> Let me put it that way. Okay. Another thing about the insole are the stitches. So these are basically the stitches that go through the shoe and around to the rubber. The leather around the stitching on the inside is cracking. As you walk and as you put tension between that thread and the leather, the leather cracks around it. One more thing about the outside, the gold lettering that these shoes are so famous for. I gotta say, they have kept up extremely well. Like I do not see any scratches. It's perfect. Yeah. All the money you're spending for 
for common projects. They're pumping into gold lettering technology to make sure that your gold letters never go bad. Except for on the inside. Oh, my sweat has wiped them off the planet. But the gold numbers on the outside, totally pristine. So if you care about that, know that they're going to stay around for a long time. Thank God. Close one. We hope you learned something um, based on how Adam mistreats, abuses, and beats his shoes to the ground mm. and how they held up. And I honestly, how would you think that these would look like at this time when you first bought them, knowing that you're going to be beating them up? Honestly, like a lot worse. You get one big lick of this ice cream cone. <laughs> I don't want to lick it after you. <laughs> Strawberry? Look at that. That's a little. It's a little Oreo right there. A little there. treat. I'm a little full. You, you could have it. Oh, Did snap. I raise you? You raised me well. Mama's proud. <laughs> you and Mama proud.